Greetings everyone, this is Ganicus again, and in today's video we're going to discuss the nerfs on Doran's shield and how a ruby crystal plus two potions is a possible alternative for Doran's shields after the nerf. I decided to do some research and figure out what's working for other people playing Shen, since Doran's shield just doesn't feel that good anymore and I decided to explore other alternatives. For my surprise, when I checked the statistics, Ruby Crystal plus 2 potions is actually doing pretty well. If you check any filter in the website Lola Analytics in Plat plus ELO for global Shen stats, Ruby Crystal plus 2 potions has a total of 2.6 plus games with a 53.45% win rate. This is almost 1% better than the 84,000 games of Doran Shield plus potions since the patch 13.4 kicked in. That alone tells me that the nerf on Doran's shield was a little bit too much and that Riot either have to buff it or adjust it so it's not exploited by mid laners, AD carries or bruisers. If you filter out Global Diamond plus ELO on Shen on EU West, in 212 games Ruby Crystal plus 2 pots has a total of 56% win rate. That's an increase of above 3% compared to the Doran's shield one. Now, it makes sense. Especially with Shen because Shen has no wave clearing and usually it's important to rush Bam Cinder for some wave clearing. So having a Ruby Crystal start, you kind of speed up the Bam Cinder purchase. Or if you're going hard still, you also get to buy the item much faster. Would generate a quick power spike and faster stacks to scale in the game. I decided to test it some games and here are some of my results. In the first example, we try against Aatrox. Aatrox is... A very challenging lane for a lot of uh, Shen players because he's a he's a melee champion that has a lot of sustain, has poke because of his range attacks on his skill, has a lot of CC, and he's very challenging. Like I said, so I thought it would be like a a good try for the Ruby Crystal two potions because technically I would lose some sustain, right? But I was able to push the level two first, so I trade with him and here we both burn our flash so I decided to speed up a little bit end up healing uh, quite a bit but as you can see like the dorm the two potions kept me with my HP up while we kept trading and I ended up winning the trade and got first blood now in the next example we played against Ilau Ilau is also considered a very strong lane uh, for Shen a, a Shen counter for many players but I, so I decided to try it out against her too. And I, 3 6 is your best chance to, to actually win this lane. And she even got level 2 for us here. But I was able to use 2 pots, but I, I wasn't afraid to trade her. But as you can see, I'm healing. I'm still healing from those 2 pots. Now that I got to level 2, I just decided to go all win. I got a drag through, and then I just went all win and ignite and finish her. And I was able to snowball the lane really hard. And the third example was a Camille. She initiates and with this with the shield and the stun. But look at the the potions, you know, like and I only use one pot pot here. I really think that the extra HP giving the extra shield makes you very tanky and strong. And finally against Tristana. In this lane I played like any other ranged matchup. I just like avoided getting hit and surprised her with a taunt under turret. So as long as you don't get hit, it doesn't matter. As you can see, it did not really feel that the lack of regeneration for Doran Shield mattered that much. As a matter of fact, I actually felt better by completing my item a lot faster and that the two potions was often all I needed for the early level sustain. I think this could also be suitable for other tanks as well. Obviously, Doran Shield might still be better into some ranged or dot matchups like against Timu. I still needed to test it more. But I can say for sure that the nerf on Doran's shield was impactful and that Ruby Crystal plus 2 potions is now a viable start purchase. Especially for Shen, giving endurance and sustain from 2 potions but also enabling us to get Bamis or Heart Steel faster. I really hope Riot in the future addresses how Doran's shield got a lot weaker now. It's sad is that Riot recently approached to balance items that tanks are dependent on is to nerf the item when they are abused by other classes, which in turn makes tanks even weaker in the current meta. What about you? Do you agree with me? Did you try Ruby Crystal and if yes, how did it go? 
please drop a comment and I'll reply as soon as I can. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe for the channel.